Good day, and now let's talk about the doctrine of Judaism. The main teaching of Judaism are about God. Specific specifically, that there is only one God, and that's God's name is Yahweh. Only God created the universe, and He is the only one who controlled it. God, according to uh, Judaism, is also spiritual rather than physical. Jews believe that God is one, a unity. He is one complete and whole being. And now let's talk about how they view evil. Many Jews believe that evil arises from Adam, Adam and Eve's first sin, against God's wishes. The serpent tempted Eve to eat from the tree of knowledge. They are no, they are no longer needed an external temptation to sin because evil had become part of them. Humans suffered as a result of their disobedience, which caused them to be separated from God. Some Jews believe that Satan is not a different entity. For them, Satan is a tendency that exists in all humans and tempts them to do wrong. And now let's talk about how they view good. Judaism places a high value in living a moral life at all times. Because salvation can be obtained only through good deeds. Charity Love, loving kindness and righteousness are, art, are outward manifestations of an interior faith. The spiritual life which begins with faith and devotion to the ultimate reality culminates in acts of compassion, loving kindness, and service perform from a pure heart. Today, I will talk about the doctrines of Christians and how they view good or evil. So the doctrines of Christians, love God, love your neighbor as yourself, forgive others who have wronged you, love your enemies, ask God forgiveness of your sins. Jesus is the Messiah and was given the authority to forgive others. Repentance, repentance of sins is essential. Don't be hypocritical. Don't judge others. The kingdom of God is near. It's not the rich and powerful, but the weak and poor who will inherit inherit this kingdom. Those that I mentioned are the most famous pictures of Jesus, which became known as the Sermon on the Mount. He summarized many of his moral instructions for his followers. And also, the Ten Commandments are part of God's doctrines. The Ten Commandments God gave us these laws as guide for the good living of His people and as a check against evil, and they are as valid today as then. And how do Christians view good? Christians believe that God gave humans free will. This is the ability for humans to make their own decisions, and it means that although God made a world and it was good, it is up to humans whether they choose to do good or bad deeds. How do, Christ, how do Christians view bad or evil? Many Christians believe that evil is the result of Adam, Adam and Eve's disobedience to God in the Garden of Eden. Adam and Eve ate the forbid, forbidden fruit. God punished Adam and Eve for their actions. And the punishment was to endure suffering in life. This is known as the fall. Some Christians believe that the all people inherited the tendency to, to sin from Adam and Eve. This belief is called original sin. According to this belief, all humans are born with a tendency towards evil and the ability to cause suffering. Furthermore, also seven deadly sins are also part of evil views. This includes the pride, envy, gluttony, lust, wrath, sloth, and greed. Overall, kung there is kalibutan, there's no consequences when you disobey God's rule. But kung maabot na ta sa punto nga, mamatay ta, kay arat na ta hukman sa atong tasatagsa nga maksala, kung asa ta ibutang sa ginoo. That's all. Good day everyone. I am here to briefly discuss about Islam. 
the doctrines of Islam and how they view the bad and good deeds. So first, let us know what is Islam. Islam is the second largest religion worldwide after the Christianity. Islam is monotheistic faith-centered, believing in one God. It shares the same beliefs with Judaism and Christianity that all prophets preach the same universal message of belief in one God and kindness to humanity. The followers of Islam are called Muslims. They are religious and monotheistic, believing in only one God they called Allah, the Arabic word for God. He is the same universal God worshipped by people of all faiths. The Islam has many doctrines and it includes the five pillars. These are guides for daily life for putting the beliefs of Muslims into practices. The first one is the Shahada or the Declaration of Faith, testifying that there is no God but Allah and that Muhammad is his prophet or messenger. The second one is the Salah or the practice of ritual prayer. They perform five times daily prayers at dawn, noon, mid-afternoon, sunset, and night by kneeling and putting their forehead on the ground as a sign or symbol of equality, humility, and worship to God. The third one is the zakat or the alms tax, the practice of giving and sharing one's wealth to the poor and needy. The fourth one is the psalm or the practice of fasting. Muslim fast during the daylight hours on the ninth month of the Islamic lunar calendar called Ramadan. The purpose is to remind people of the goodness that they have and show equality to the poor. Ramadan is a practice of having time to study and discipline. The last one is the Hajj or the pilgrimage. Muslims believe in the making of pilgrimage to Mecca to the Kaaba at least once in their lifetime. Kaaba is a holy or sacred place to worship that that has been believed believed that have been built by Ibrahim or Abraham Abraham and one of his son Muhammad. Let us talk about how they view the good deeds. Muslims believe that they must be compassionate because everyone is a special creation of Allah. Giving to charity and helping others are considered good deeds and there should be no expectation of anything in return. For them, giving charity it's not just all about giving money to others, but it also involves the giving of time to help others. Another is how they view the bad deeds. Muslims view sin as anything that goes against the commands of Allah and disrespecting the holy book of Islam called Quran is considered as bad deeds. Intentionally desecrating a copy of Quran is punishable by life imprisonment and could lead to death, to death in some countries. But even though the death penalty is allowed, forgiveness is preferable because in Islam, forgiveness together with peace is a predominant Quranatic theme. And so I will be discussing the differences and similarities of the three religions, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. So I will start in Judaism. So Judaism, most of the believers of Judaism is the Jewish people, and they be Judaism believe that in they believe in one God, believe in individual and collective participation in an eternal dialogue with God through tradition, rituals, prayers, and ethical actions. They pray three times a day, such as morning, um, afternoon, and evening. So their book called Sidur contains the entire Jewish liturgy used on the ordinary Sabbath and the symbol of Judaism is six-pointed star of David. So Christianity, the differences of Christianity is belie Christianity believes that Jesus is the son of God, believe in individual salvation from sin to receiving Jesus Christ as their Lord and Savior. So, so ang tawag sa book of Christianity is Bible contains of the state of man and symbol of Christianity is cross or crucifix Islam the Islam they believe that Allah is God is the creator of the universe and Hazrat Muhammad is the prophet of Allah they believe that Allah sent many prophets for different time to teach people what is right and wrong and 
Um, Islam, they have five prayer times called Salat. Their book called Quran contains sacred word of God intended to correct and errors. The symbol of Islam is called crescent and star. So, what are the, simil uh, the similarities of Judaism and Christianity is believe that God exists, God is creator of the universe, believe in the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. And the uh, similarities of Judaism and Islam is two religions share similar values, guidelines, and principles. So, uh, the similarities of Islam and Christianity is they believe that Satan is the real devil and both have prophets. Believe that prophets are chosen and called by God. So, the and lastly, the simil similarities of these three reli religion, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam is aside from monotheistic belief, have a great deal common similarities in notions of sacrifice of and peace and in their faith of um, praying their God or praise their God. That's all.